dead things and the hideous horror on how. In my Gargoyles Work in Progress Part 5, I made the rather bold statement that I felt the bodies of these windshield wiper motors was positive voltage. I came through this through referencing source material and through some other methods which are really unimportant. Now, after talking to my good friends Dano and Scuba Spook, they informed me that I, in fact, had no idea what I was talking about and the bodies of these motors were indeed negative voltage and that makes sense um, but what was frustrating for me was that there was nothing out there on the net with these five wire wiper motors I YouTubed, I googled and uh, while there's one thing came up for four wires nothing came up with five and so um, I had to uh, find all this out um, kind of on my own just poking away at this thing so I put together this video it'll be in three parts um, basic wiring uh, park feature wiring for park and um, and what happens when you uh, wire uh, the park incorrectly so uh, if you want to skip ahead to those you can um, if you were to order one of these um, wiper motors from companies such as fright props and monster guts um, these wirings would be clearly laid out for you um, and that's great if you're in the US uh, you know 25 bucks for a wiper motor you know 10 bucks to have it shipped to you uh, you know you got one 35 bucks on your door wiring laid out it's not the same up here in Canada um, because of our exchange rate, this $25 wiper motor is now uh, 30 35 um, The shipping, because it's now international shipping, is, you know, again, 25 US, which turns into 30 again, Canadian. And then when it hits our free trade border, uh, it gets whacked with another $25 or $30 customs fee. And so that wiper motor is now, you know, closer to 90 bucks. Um, this guy cost me 20 bucks took about five minutes to pull it out of a wrecked car at a uh, wrecking yard about a 15 minute drive from my house just makes economic sense so uh, what I'm gonna do is lay out in the next three sections as I said um, the windshield wiper wiring and uh, how the park feature and how that works so uh, here we go So upon visual inspection, the first thing you notice is that four of these wires are just like the others. Four of these wires are kind of the same. But one of these wires is not like the others. I made you sing it in your head. Now that should be your first clue. That one, in this case, four wires are blue. Each one is a little bit different. Um, ones, some of them have stripes down them but they're all blue wires one of the wires in this case the wire is black and the other wiper motor the wire is white that's the other thing I'm basing this on only two wiper motors I've never worked with wiper motors before this gargoyles project believe it or not so I'm basing it on just these two that I've I've worked with but I've noticed only two similarities between the two and that's what I'm gonna to get to here so on this one it's black on the other one it's white and so what we're going to do is we're going to say that that is our negative voltage so we're going to hook our negative wire up to it now what I've found from there is that the of the blue wires one of them has a red stripe and that red stripe wire is functions the same on both wiper motors so I'm gonna make the leap and say it's gonna work that's the way it works in this case it is a high speed so when I hook my positive lead up to the high speed the blue wire with red it's high speed now from there I've, I've got two of these figured out 
Now it's just a matter of going down the line and seeing what the other ones do. So, now in this one, I have a blue wire with a white line down it. I have a blue wire with a white line on the other wiper motor as well, but it does not have the same function as it does on this one. On this one, it is my low speed. On the other one, it's part of the park feature. So, if you have your negative hooked up, your one wire which isn't the same color as the other ones, um, you can then go down the line and see which are which. Now notice when I hook this up to here nothing happens. So you'll know if you have your positive hooked up and you touch the negative to two wires that do nothing, that's your park wires. So now I'm going to do some other things here. You can reverse the voltage on these. So I've now put the um, positive or negative lead to my positive low. I'm going to hook up to my negative and it does work, it just works in reverse. Same if I hook it up to my high speed, that blue wire with the red stripe, it works in reverse. Now incidentally, if I hook up the two, the high speed wire and the low speed wire together, you get very high speed. And that also works, of course, in reverse. So if you want to use this just for um, movement, you don't need the park feature, you hook up any combination of the positive and these to get the, uh, the speed that you want, or sorry, the negative in these. Well, as you can see, there's a, there's a few combinations that you have. So to get the park feature, you hook up one of these remaining leads to your positive. Now from there we can take either the low speed or the high speed, touch it to the positive. And then when we take that wire and then connect it to the remaining wire for the park feature, that's where we get our park. And of course, that will also work in high speed as well. Now, can we reverse these two wires? No, we cannot. That immediately shorts everything out. So it has to be hooked up in only one way. Hooking up the wrong wire automatically shorts things out, especially when you hook it up to the positive, because that's what it's doing. That's what this wire does when these two connect. It allows for power to go and then do a dead short to the, uh, to the body. Apparently there's actually like a, a little leaf spring and there's a little lump on the uh, on the inside here as this turns around it keeps compressing these leaf springs as long as you have power going to it um, through one of these two it just keeps bypassing that but as soon as you switch the power over to this this dead short once it gets to that those leaf spring close and that's it it's done 
Now you can reverse your polarity. But you have to do it like this. Your negative then hooks up to, we'll say, our low speed. And so when we connect our presumably negative to our positive, we get to function. And then when we, you know, let that go a little bit more, and then when we dead short it, it does, but you notice it stops here, and also there's a little bit of travel when it stops. It's not a dead short. So it will work reversing your polarity, but you have to have this um, one wire connected to the positive. And if you uh, if you connect the wrong wire, it'll short out right away. Now, to show you one final um, way to wire this, and I don't know why a person would, but you know, you never know, um, this is kind of the wrong way. So, just again, to get the parking, in this instance, I've got my positive to uh, my positive lead, but I'm doing my park feature off of the negative lead and using my presumably negative line off here. So, now, when I do it like this, we get it to stop, okay? But if I reverse these two wires, okay, and now I connect them. So you can see the park feature does not work, it just keeps going over that. Uh, I believe that's because the park works by doing a dead ground and uh, this way I'm keeping power going in that ground. So it's just continuing to uh, to uh, spin there. So, I hope this helped someone out there. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. And uh, stay scary and haunter for life.